Hello and welcome to episode 15 of my Terraria, Mo ah, Terraria Calamity mod playthrough. There we go, those are the words, those were the words we're looking for. Plan today. Um, we have two things that I want to get done and then potentially a few other things we can get done. It's about time we took on the, um, the Bane of Cthulhu. It is the next thing in our list and then immediately after that, theoretically, does this agree? should be um, One Man's Army hmm, and Queen Bee. According to the Calamity Wiki, it says Queen Bee and One Man, um, Old One's Army rather. It considers those two as kind of things you can do immediately after Bane of Cthulhu. Uh, and after you've done that, then the Prefortorator, or whatever the hell you prefer to that as, was the next thing. So we'll be doing it in the order the wiki says. We will be doing Queen Bee before we do this. Uh, and when we do that, we'll ac gain access to the um, the ore in the sky. We can't currently mine, and that means that we can then do a lot of things. Or craft a lot of things. The arsenal stuff all becomes available, and there's a bunch of other things that we can do. And um, between last episode of this, we still didn't get a Blood Moon, but we did get the last of these. We went through some more fishing quests. We finally hit our 10th fishing quest, so we got an achievement for that. Where in here is this? There it is. And it happened to give me the entire armor set. I don't know why. It's not supposed to. I'm only supposed to get one piece at a time. Maybe I just got lucky and one of the random loot drops was the entire set, or maybe um, there's been changes in Calamity Mod. But yeah. Let us go down to here so that we can get the fish finder. We are now missing one item which is exclusively found in the dungeon. Or at least ordinarily should be. That may mean that it's not craftable. Unless I'm spending it wrong. There's the tally counter. Okay, yep. So they still made it so it's not craftable. It's just dropped by all dungeon enemies. This is fine. This is what we expected. Um, but yeah, the other thing we want to get done before we start heading after the next boss is I want to... Um, I want to make a start on... the surface glowing mushroom biome. I'm not going to build any houses, I just want to get the biome up and running so that we can get the NPC spawn, um, for one thing. Uh, but for another thing, I want to prepare basically a spot that we can teleport to. Okay, it's so that and that. I'm still going to keep with the original plan. We're going to try and grow it here. And so we replace basically all of this with mud. I'll probably chop all of this down, punch out the background. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't look like it's, uh, it may have spread to this, it probably will eventually spread to it, but it looks like it's okay at the minute. So yeah, we'll convert that to mud, plant our seeds, that should hopefully give us a nice decent sized blue mushroom biome. If memory serves correctly, the blue mushroom biome can't be taken over by hallowed or um, crimson, if I remember right, we'll see. Um, which side did I start prepping the arena? It is over here. Okay, that's good. Another reason why I kind of wanted to have a teleport over here. One, so that we can get to the sea easier. Two, so that we can get to these two things easier. We'll be spawning these things by way of breaking the crimson hearts, I think. So we'll just go through each one, breaking the hearts, and probably kill it three times, maybe, and see where we are. Um... I don't think I'm going to need them, but I will take them anyway. I can't remember this fight, but I don't remember it being that nasty. Um, regeneration potions. Why 
am I thinking that there's a potion bag? I thought multiple occasions that there's a potion bag. There's a lot of additional potions in here. Probably would have been better to search for the bag. Is it just a bag that will give us random potions? Yes, the void bag. That was the other extended um, thing. Another starter bag. Hmm. I'm not sure why, but there's something in the back of my mind telling me that there's a particular type of container you can get specifically for storing potions and when you use potions it will use all the potions in your bag. I don't know why I think that. But for some reason I think that exists. I just can't seem to find it. Um, okay, so what else do we need? We just need the mud and the seeds for the mushroom biome. We need three or the three pots for that we're going to be breaking bombs we're going to need more bombs because in a minute we don't have a pickaxe that can mine through where did we leave ah sticky bombs we most definitely didn't use them all It's not like that hard to make. Just could have sworn that we still had some spare and we hadn't used all the last batch. Maybe they are indeed about somewhere and they will turn up eventually. them away somewhere weird. Okay, never mind. Let's not waste too much time trying to find something that actually may not exist. A hundred of them should do. Yeah, they're not in the chest nearby, otherwise they would have disappeared there. God damn it. That just put all the potions away again. Um, two of these, two of these, two of these. That'll do. Okay, let's get ourselves over there so we can start building stuff. See you in a bit. Okay, we have arrived. Let's get all of this destroyed first and then get to building. I think that's as far as I want to spread it because I kind of want this area here to still be a crimson fishing spot. Hmm. I 
wonder if the existence of this is going to prevent this from properly spawning. We'll come back later and see how it's going. Once all of the um, grass is spread, we should have some ideas to whether or not this is going to work. Um, that might mean... Do I have something that can cast? We do. Although it's not particularly... There we go. We've got a massive bit of ore down there. Doesn't like we have stone, which is good. If we have stone, then it can potentially be corrupted, or off beam. It could off beam potentially corrupted if it's nearby. But all of this stone looks good. It's more ore. Oh, that stone looks good. Okay. I think we have a decent chance that we should get some sort of mushroom biome spawn in here. But we'll see. Uh, the one we're going to is on the other side. Let's go kill us a brain. We don't need to worry about fall damage. Hmm. Oh, there's some things that we forgot. Um, we're going to have to go back and get them, which is probably a good thing anyway, looking at the state of our inventory. I forgot to bring campfire and... was it bass? This thing. If I just tell it to filter all things away, it's going to put stuff away that I don't want it to at the moment, so... In fact, it's probably going to be quicker if I just do that and then get the potions back out again. The dirtiest block. Now 20% more dirt. Equipable? Huh? devil is this? <laughs> it's a pet summon. As adorable as that is, I think I'm going to keep with my little siren. Because it's cuter. I didn't know that existed. That's, that is a thing. That is the only way I can describe that. That is most definitely a thing. Uh, let's put that away. Some flower we can pop down. Look at all the butterflies. These in here. In fact, let's get that, that, one of those. Hop over to the cooking pot and just get rid of it. Uh, I should move the bait out of here and put it in um, our fishing chest. Anything that we're explicitly planning to use for bait. That way we can keep this for mostly fish. Although we do have some food stuff in here as well. Let's go put that over in the other chest and then craft a campfire. Another one of the defense statues. Uh, could you perhaps... Okay, nope, you're fine. You're not quite entirely in the way. Is it the glowing snail? No, I think it's something else. 
I can't remember what it is, but it's not something we can use at the minute. Or well, more likely, it would be suicidal to try and summon the Duke at this point. Uh, so I'm going to need three campfires and three of these things. Remind me, how do we make them? One ruby, three of those, seven of those. Um, three rubies. Nine of those. In fact, we can just leave this inventory open and craft them. Where are they in this list? Are they even in this list? There they are. One, two, three. Then a true of campfires. One, two, three. Right, back we go. See you in a bit. Hey, it worked. Nah. It has, however, taken over um, priority here. That's that's okay. What we can potentially do? Where's the borderline? A bit too far back. I could move the lake effectively. Or we could just find another one that we could use. There's another one right here we can use, so yeah. We can just build um, one specifically for Crimson there. Assuming that, that Crimson doesn't turn into Hollow, we still don't know where the Hollow is going to spawn. And I know it can spawn straight through the Crimson. I'm kind of hoping it does. Just because of how much of like the desert we've lost to the Crimson. If we have the hollow, or if we have the hollow go straight through the desert as well, then that's just gonna be a real pain in the arse. Okay, so one of these, one of these, and then I wanna add an extra platform layer above and below. I vaguely remember this guy kind of being stationary, or at least very much like being fought in this area here. I just can't remember the specifics of how the fight goes. So this gives us options as to where we can stand with easy access to all of them. Okay. We only need to break one more of these. This bomb may do it. That's not where I wanted you to land. That may destroy the heart. There we go. last bit is a bit of a pain. It's almost impossible to tell which one's which. Uh, did we remember to actually activate our buffs? No, we didn't even remember to bring them. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so that may summon a meteorite. Um, okay, we have a nice big patch of water here that if we need to get some underground crimson fishing done at some point we can use this 
we may need to just adjust it a little. We already had one of those. That didn't seem to do much. I want to give the game time to spawn that meteorite. I know queuing up a second one is a bad idea because I could potentially lose the second meteorite. They changed how it used to work. Originally the meteorite spawned based upon you destroying the hearts but now it spawns based upon you killing um, the brain. That's a new weapon to keep. Those are to be sold. Keep that. Keep that. I'm going to go through the crimson. Um, how do I want to do this? Let me just open up. There we go, Meteorite has landed. Good. Now that we know it has spawned, even if we don't know where, hopefully it hasn't hit a planetoid. Oh, there's our sticky bombs. I'm blind. Jesus. Let's get another one killed. Where did that die? Oh, that's some of the second meteorite. Immediately. Um, there's my loot. Okay. Tied up there. Probably to poison or something. Um, yeah, we already have an Undertaker. I should have checked. Do we get anything interesting from the brain of Cthulhu? Issue samples, which are required for crafting things. We already have the corruption, we already have... Oh wait, no, these are the um, ones for the other one. That is an item that is rarity higher than we could possibly get in a minute. Okay, it looks like mostly vanity stuff, so I don't think we need to be farming it for too much. We've still not seen a blood moon. According to this guide, the next thing we take on is the Goblin Army and then the Old One's Army. The Tavern Keeper should now spawn, but we've not got a heart for it yet. And I think we've got all of the stuff that we want out of the hearts. I can't remember specifically what they... Um, 
spawn, but I think we have what we want. Um, ah, yeah, if we want truffles to spawn, we actually have to build him a house. So while we're nearby, we'll just collect some blue. Uh, we'll collect some blue, um, what's it called? Mushrooms. Not kill that thing. Uh, the only reason I'm coming over here is because now we know that we have meteorite spawns, we need to figure out where they landed. Hopefully we can find them both on the surface. If we find them elsewhere, then eh, problems. We'll see. Hey, excellent. One of them landed square in the crimson. We do not have an obsidian skull, though. Um, yeah, and without an obsidian skull, that's going to be a bit of a pain to clean up. So let's just keep heading back home. Actually, no, if we're going to come be coming back this way, let's empty out our inventory first. And then we'll worry about going and collecting all of that, so... Put all of that stuff away. Um, interesting. Why did this undertake? All oh, right, because the um, chest it would have gone into is full. Two hearts went in there. That's a new weapon that we haven't collected before. And there's another banner. This is effectively a diamond, it can go in here. Okay, the crimson. The foul air, the morbid fauna, the disgusting terrain. Here lies my first mistake of my crusade. The essence of a god does not simply vanish when the body dies. It must be properly disposed of or destroyed entirely. Essence of a pious god could never fester uh, into a mire as dreadful as this. The brain of Cthulhu. It is true that unspeakable abominations now be con commonplace, largely by my hand. Though they have always been a product of folly of the gods, the same gods would cull them in equal measure. My decimation of the false divine left many old horrors uncontested, with new ones birthed every year. Now they are your stepping stones. I do kind of like this. This new, effectively, progressive story that the game never really had. Excellent. Plenty of samples. Grants the ability to dodge attacks. The dodge has a 20, uh, a 90 second cooldown which starts with all other dodges and reflects. Temporarily increases critical hit chance after dodging. May confuse nearby enemies when struck. And it is a material, so I suppose out of all of the things that it could have dropped, that was the best one. That's still a material, but we will have to get the worm scarf. Or will we? That's not the worm scarf. Rotten brain calamity mod. It's crafted. Bloody worm tooth. Tinkerer's workshop in a graveyard biome. That's why we're... We need the graveyard biome. Bloody worm tooth. Bloody worm scarf. Ah, 
Ah, okay. So we will be getting that soon-ish. Um, we only need one of these. Or do we? Let's just double check that. Oh, I see. You can change between the two of them. So you don't need to have a um, corrupted world. You can just take the reward from the Crimson world and convert it into the reward from the corrupted world and vice versa. That is handy. And similarly, you can swap between the two of these, depending on whether you have a corrupted world or a crimson world. Let me show you the amalgamated brain, which then turns into the amalgam. Much later on. Mm, bloody worm scarf is something different. Okay, um, I do think we only need one of them, so we can sell the other one. Uh, I will keep, even though it's technically a uh, mob drop, the sample tissues in here. This will allow us to now make crimson armor. Ooh, and we're close to being able to make the void bag, which would be helpful. Favor this uh, item to activate your player after image. I'm not sure this arm is going to be of any use to us. Generic increase in damage. I think we need the pickaxe though. able to mine hellstone. The pickaxe we've got isn't able to mine anything. Um, the meatball. Void vaults, and that's the, just the physical location item, which does still require us to go to the dungeon, so not a thing at the minute. Um, if we go... Actually, no, why am I doing it that way? Tools. Pickaxes. Pick power, good, that'll do. Can mine meteorites. Okay, I think the axe that we have in the minute can probably do it then. Platinum can mine Demonite, Crimsite, Meteorite, Sea Prism, and Sea Prism Crystals. This one doesn't list anything though. Sky Fringe. I think if we can, we'll hold off to get this particular upgrade. We start getting the merged pickaxes and axes. There's one. Not until much later on. They're just a little bit more convenient. Okay, so the pickaxe power that we or the pickaxe power the pickaxe we have is equivalent to platinum. So if we assume that's right, then meteorite should be usable. Now have we crafted an obsidian skull? We haven't. Okay, let's mm, grab an obsidian school. Tungsten doesn't, strictly speaking, go in there. Tungsten is equivalent to silver, I think. Can't remember if it's better than silver, but I think it's equivalent to silver. Okay. Where is the skull in this extremely long list? There it is. 
One of those. Now, there are multiple ways to skin this cat. Apologies to cat lovers. It's just a phase. I think... And some immunity to burning on fire debuff prevents... Or provides the ability to walk on water and lava. Immunity to lava. We can't make these ones. Skill used in it is using the Onk Shield, so we do eventually need two of these. But yeah, no, we need the um, these then turn into lava waders, which we don't have the stuff for in the minute. And the lava waders are used in the Terrace Bark Boots. Um, so let's just go with what we can craft at the minute, which I think. We take that, and then this is in here for a reason. Obsidian water walking boots. That should hopefully do the trick and allow us to mine that. All of that can be sold. Why haven't I put that away? Oh no, we did put it away, but then we um, looked at what we could craft with it. things to sell, presumably. We should buy the mini shark so we can upgrade it to the mega shark. Do you sell the more advanced thing. You sell these now. You were selling them previously, but nah. There doesn't appear to be anything new in here. Why would you give me an exclamation point? Summons a never forgotten friend, developer item, material. I'm not sure this was in here last time, but we didn't actually bother check in what it turns into Primrose keepsake hmm maybe something we'll end up looking into later kind of immaterial at the moment we know that you're as happy as you can be, so you are best place to sell. We head on over to here, just make sure neither of those have something new. We're probably not going to get a, um, a thing tonight, Blood Moon, because we did just kill an enemy or a boss. But let's get back over to the meteorite. See if we find the other one along the way. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Excellent. No! <laughs> Why? Why do I keep doing that? I should get in the habit of, after using it, taking it off. Pushing another button. It's only on my hotbar for emergency situations. Maybe I should just take it off my hotbar. I'll be right back. All right, we're back again. Let's start mining. Um, we don't know where the other one is. Hopefully it's not hit one of the islands in the air. In fact, I'm not too worried if it has. Good, we can mine this.
Oh, sand. I don't suppose bombs work on this, do they? Bombs do not work on it. Anyway, I'll mine all of this up, you don't need to watch it. We'll still be recording, so in the event that these things actually do kill me, you will see it. But I'll try to be a little bit more careful than that. Okay, I think we've cleaned this up as much as we can. Okay, we've got a fair, fair bit more than I was expecting. That's good. This isn't the last kind of ore that we can get, but we'll put that there for the time being. Everything else can be put away. Let's nip over this way. Just make sure, see if, see if we can find where the other ones landed, and then I'll collect that. And then we might be done for the day, because I don't think there's anything else we can do that would take an appropriate amount of time. Oh, well that didn't take long. It has destroyed our desert, or more likely it has just missed our desert, so it could have been worse. Let's start connecting all of this. It means we don't have to worry as much about that sand falling on our heads. Okay, I think that'll do. I don't need to be perfect with cleaning all this stuff up. How much more did we get? Another 400 odd. Good, good. Um, I believe the ore itself can be used in ammunition. Oh no. It can be used to make bricks. Why is the bars I use to make ammunition? We can make a phase blade, which it's a really good sweep weapon, but I don't know whether or not it's worth um, considering at the minute. All of those are too high a level. That we could make. If it weren't for Stardust, I think. Does that count as orange? I think that counts as orange, which again is pre-hard mode. That's post-hard mode. In fact, I think that's um, pre-moon lord right before, isn't it? That's craftable. Magna cannon. Oh, I remember some of these. It's the icons that have changed. We can finally make locators. The space gun is always a nice little weapon to have. The suit is a decent magic weapon to have, although if you go into the dungeon, the better one is in there. Is it the dungeon for the magic weapon? Or is it the jungle? I forget. Let's turn this stuff in. all of it will just filter away. Good. Put this in here. We don't have another or enough for another fruit salad. Um, okay. Tavern keeper. What is your trigger to spawn, or is it just that now we can find you? Killing that boss should have um, allowed it to spawn, but or allowed him to spawn. But I do not know if there's another thing. I think he might be bound up 
downstairs. Let me just check its specific location because the um, Old One's Army is kind of the next thing on our list. I'm more inclined to do that before I do B or um, Queen B. So this will be a Terraria wiki, I think. NPCs. Where are you, Tavern Keeper? Found and spoken after... Uh, yes, yeah, so where do we find you? Accept the Defender's Medals, Coins... He will only become accessible after the player has defeated Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu. Once this criteria is met, he will appear as a stationary, unconscious man spawning in any layer of the world. Talking to him in this state will wake him up. If the unconscious man is killed, uh, he will still be able to respawn afterwards. If the tavern keeper's NPC is killed, he will move again and again. Yes. Usual affair. So basically, he's just going to be around somewhere. In which case, let's look around and see if we can find him. Potentially looking for him underground is maybe a bad idea because he could spawn in an area I haven't illuminated, at which point I'll never see him. Let's head up to the surface where we're more likely to be able to spot him because there's going to be left pla less places for him to spawn. And we'll head to the right because um, there's too much crimson to the left. I highly doubt he's going to spawn unconscious somewhere around base, but that doesn't mean he can't. to the seaside and he's not here. <laughs> Let's try the other way. I'm working I am working on the assumption that he's just gonna randomly appear. What the devil is that supposed to be? Almost didn't see him, but here he is. Let's quickly allow him to get back to safety. He should spawn here, one assumes. Unless he's going to take up residence somewhere else. There are spare homes all over the place. He's not gone underground. He's not gone over here. He hasn't. Excuse you. <laughs> I suppose fair. There is a table. There is a chair. This is technically a valid home. Admittedly, it's not one of the homes I built. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to come down from on high, Mr. Tavern Keeper. I need you here. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, let's filter all of this stuff away. Oh, what's this? Diamond Geo. Oh, right. Um, did we put the other one in here? There's a bunch of these. Let me grab the other one and put that in there as well a bit. Where is it? There it is. These things become kind of special. Um, is that a mount? Or is that... I think that's probably just... Yep. Fair enough. I can go in there. Right, Tavern Keeper. Let me just make sure... Seem, normally I'm not a fan of goblins, but Tojum seems to be an alright sort. I wasn't aware that we had a goblin in this area here. The goblin is elsewhere, so I'm a little perplexed as to why he's bringing him up. I suppose I didn't click happiness. He's not happy. That's fine. We don't really care that much. For starters, take a few of these defender medals on the house. I've got some special defenses you can purchase, but only with defender medals. Okay, I shouldn't have clicked that button. We'll save that for Monday. I believe we'll have to buy the crystals. And then we need the stand, we put the stand down, we put the crystal in it to start it. If it works the way I think it does, or if it works the way I remember it doing. But yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we'll be back again on Monday, we will fight the Old One's army. And I think we will also make a start on the houses for the Blue Mushroom area, so that we can get truffles to spawn and get um, our teleporter put down over there. And then once we've probably done the old one's army maybe a couple of times, um, we'll start thinking about the Queen Bee. But I don't know if we've got to get that done on Monday. But yeah, thank you. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.